The ballots are in the mail. GEC Executive Director Maria Pangilinan says her staff was able to meet the deadline to send out the absentee ballots to Guamanians now living abroad. And the local law requires that uniform or military voters and those citizens living overseas, if they apply for absentee ballot, they will have to be sent out 45 days before the election. That batch was sent out on July the 11th, but there's still time for others who may be eligible to put in their requests. About 100 absentee ballots were sent out. As, um, as uh, requests come in, and we will continue to accept requests for off-island absentee ballots up until 72 hours or three days before the election. As, they, as these requests come in, um, we are required, the Guam Election Commission is required to process the request within 48 hours. Pangolinan says if the absentee ballots are sent back prior to the primary election in August, then those ballots will be tabulated together with the votes from their respective village precincts. If the person is a student off-island going to school or for whatever reason, and they still are eligible to register to vote on Guam, the absentee application form, if it's appropriate, can be used or doubles as the registration form. And don't forget, we can continue to receive requests for absentee ballots up until three days before the election. Though the election is set for August the 25th, Pangolinan says absentee ballots will continue to be accepted afterwards and only before the results are made official. We can receive them up until 5 o'clock September 10th. In the past, the GEC mailed out about 300 absentee ballots. And Pangolinan says voters off-island can track their ballots as well. For those that have already requested for a ballot, they can, they can keep tabs of where their ballot is through our website. As we continue to send the ballots out, and even the ballots we had sent out already yesterday and our Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday and today, the ballot, uh, working with the U.S. Post Office, we're able to track the ballots. For more on how you can make a request, go online to gec.guam.gov. For this week's Decision Watch, I'm Jason Salas.